guys! So I got a request for this video in my messages this morning from Universe Movies. Hey Universe, role-playing a vigilant of Stendar isn't an easy task, as there is only one real quest they make an appearance, and the game really doesn't give us much background to go on. Look at them like prosecutors from the Salem Witch Trials. Your character could be nosy and suspicious of everyone, and taking a great deal of time to investigate simple rumors thoroughly. Going back to Oblivion days, the Vigilants of Stendar were founded shortly after the Oblivion Crisis and dedicated themselves to eliminating Daedra and other abominations to the Divine, such as vampires, werewolves, and witches. Due to this, one of the best races you can pick would be Imperial. But races of the Vigil NPCs can include Redguard, Nord, Dark Elf, and Breton. So it just goes to show that perhaps the Vigil doesn't discriminate when it comes to race, so I wouldn't worry too much about this. Their main base of operations is the Hall of the Vigilant, just south of Dawnstar. Here you will find an altar to Stendar and one named NPC, Keeper Karket. If you have an alternate start mod installed, you can choose to begin the game here already, decked out in all your roleplay gear. Their outfit consists of an amulet of Stendar, steel cuffed boots, steel Nordic gauntlets, either the novice robes of alteration or novice robes of restoration, and a novice hood, if you choose to wear one. They also carry a belted tunic which they wear while they're sleeping. Their choice of weapon is a leveled mace, usually consisting of iron or steel. It would also be pretty handy to carry around a book of Daedra and varieties of Daedra, as these are important information concerning your greatest adversary. The main thing you want to remember is you hate Daedra and everything of the like, and Stendar is your main deity. This means that you probably shouldn't run around completing Daedric quest lines and likelihood of you becoming a werewolf or a vampire is pretty slim. Unless you want to play an outcast of the Vigil, of course. Some good quests to complete would be any that hurt a Daedra Lord or involve slaughtering a cloaked coven of vampires or a pack of werewolves. One of my favorite quests for a Vigilant was Waking Nightmare, which can be started in the Dawnstar Inn at any level. Here you aid a priest of Mara in curing the town of a terrible curse of nightmares laid down by the Daedric Princess Vermina. Just make sure at the end of this quest, you do not follow Vermina's command by killing the priest before he can destroy the Skull of Corruption. This would help rather than hurt her. Another good quest for a Vigilante would be Laid to Rest, which begins in Morthal after hearing a rumor about a house fire and questioning the Jarl of the Hold. The entire conspiracy has to do with vampires, so it is right up your alley. If you're playing Dawn Guard, you'll find that the Hall of the Vigilant was wiped out by vampires. Oops. <laughs> Don't worry though, many of the surviving Vigilants of Stindar joined up with the Dawn Guard, and you can as well to further your story. The most important thing to roleplaying though, is story. When coming up with your character, try to think of what your motives would be for joining the Vigil. Did you have a family in Kavach that was destroyed by the Daedra? Perhaps your ex-girlfriend was a vampire and you seek revenge for her turning. Whatever the reason, remember to have fun with it. Well, thanks so much for your suggestion, Universe Movies, and be sure to leave me more in the comments for what you would like to see next in entering Skyrim. I'll see y'all next time.